Hi again, this is Freddy with WebDesignTipsAndTricks.com. Today I wanted to share a quick tip with you about how I go about getting or obtaining custom graphics, custom designs for some of my clients' projects. Sometimes they request something that's very elaborate, maybe floral with a lot of, uh, a lot of zigzags everywhere and very colorful, very contemporary. And to be honest, I am not the most creative person in the world. In fact, I'm probably not even as, half as creative as you are. You're probably really good with graphics and things like that. But if you're not that creative, or maybe you don't think you are, just I'll, I'll share this quick tip with you. I like to visit this website called Vectizi. And you can actually go to Vectizi.com. And e even they kind of make fun of their name. As you can see in their logo, it says Vectizi, stupid name, cool vectors. Well, what Vectizi is a website where a lot of individuals, very creative individuals, upload some of their vectorized work, some of their vectorized uh, graphics, and sometimes they're very colorful, very professionally done. And you can see some of their work on the, on the homepage, and there's so much stuff that you can choose from, and usually I have no problem finding stuff for the projects that I have, okay? You can see all the graphics that they have on their homepage, you can go to their gallery, and I think they have, right now, they have over 15 pages worth of stuff, okay? Uh, you click on any one of these images, and let me pick, let me pick a, a nice one. Well, for example, let me show you one that, that I've used before. Um, I think it's on page four. Oh, no, here we go. This Nokia. This Nokia cell phone. You see Nokia N70 Black Edition. And this was this is in Adobe Illustrator. It is vectorized. You can preview it, and usually an image will, will come up, kind of show you what it what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I've I've used this before. I've already downloaded it. For example, I'll show you what it looks like when I open it up in in Adobe Illustrator, and it's all vectorized. See, you can take any little component part of the of the design, and you can resize it any way you want, you can place it anywhere you want. Again, it's vectorized, it's all outlined, so it's not going to pixelize or pixelate on you. So it looks very professional. And in fact, I'll show you where I've used it before. I used it in, uh, in my website on the request a quote page on kangomedia.com. Let's see if it'll pop up. It's a little bit slow today. And see, here you go. I went ahead and I created this background for my own website. I knew I wanted a phone in there next to the piece of paper, but I didn't know how to create a phone, so I just went to Vectizi. I was able to find this Nokia one. It looked perfect for me. I went ahead and downloaded it, and I used it in my own design. But that's my tip for today. Go ahead, look through Vectizi.com, download some, some of their files, you know, mess around with them, I usually, what I like to do is I like to take components from, little, from different designs and mesh them all together so that in the end, it looks something completely different. It looks like something original that I've done, okay? This will save you a lot of time. Again, I've always been told, work smarter, not harder. Go to Vectizi or Google free vector art and you'll find a lot of these kind of uh, files that you can use in your own web designs, okay? So again, this is Freddie with webdesigntipsandtricks.com and I hope this one works out for you, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.